Well, we have a nice view at Australia's southernmost hotel, as opposed to Tavern at Dover. Here's the eastern coast. That's the hummock on the distance. Paganini's memorial up to 200 steps. And around here across Adventure Bay, down here, is our campsite. We're way down there. Somewhere. I'm gonna say. Mm. Mm. Well, now we're gonna have a look, see if we can see some penguins coming in after sunset. Uh, morning of Tuesday, I think, or Wednesday. And this is the view from our tent door across the 4 of June. This is where we were last night, Truganini Memorial, up on the hummock. That's the sand dunes where all the penguins were going to come in last night. No, we didn't wait around, it started getting a bit chilly. That's the hummock. Walk up a couple of hundred steps. <laughs> we have to wear galoshes around here. In tent, indoor shoes and outdoor shoes, I think. Otherwise we might tread on some unmentionables. And it's very wet. It's a lovely little spot. And it's only about 80 steps, long steps, maybe 100, to the loos first thing in the morning. But you see lots of chooks and ducks. The rooster woke us this morning. And last night there were possums, black possums and the white albino wallabies that you have to negotiate on the way and then the ducks greet you each morning and evening walk inside the tent too many people feed them just have our little morning cuppa indoors well that's where she, the chair was I couldn't be bothered moving it she indoors she who must be her indoors. We're about the only campus here at the moment. There's one van left just behind me. This is where Captain Bly brought in his bounty to do some repairs, get some water and timber. It's the bounty beach. The sun's just come up. It comes and goes around here. I'd say it's shining nicely on the, the fluted cliffs just up in those trees up there. It's very reminiscent of one of our favourite spots. This is where the bounty was pulled up for their supplies. And that's Adventure Bay, little township, where the other caravan park is. It's there. Like South Cape Rivulet as well. 
and a little green patch. Drop dead gorgeous, as they say. There's our tent. Just there. That's the caravan park office. And behind there. Some people build some funny houses on these beautiful places. These trees would have looked down on Bly as he patched his boat. And I think it probably on Cook on his last voyage, 1777. This is a walk around to the fluted rocks. We haven't had breakfast yet though. Most of the little dams we've seen on properties have had bull rushes. This is one of the three whaling stations here. That whaling in industry collapsed in 1840s. 1829, there were three, three whaling stations around here. 90 men mm. were employed. There's still damaged trees here from, from the whaling station. A lot of the area would have been cleared, would have reeked of blubber and blood. And there's the, some of the walls. Now we just turn around and go back for breakfast. This is back at the little dam with the bulrushes. This would have been their water source for the boiling down of the blubber. Just going back here to our tent just there, breakfast. There's bounty that planted the apple trees here. 1788. Mm, they died around here. It's a little. You can pick the bracken out. Yeah, too much bracken. And there's a native hen. We've seen quite a few native hens. have to change the clock times. It's 8.35, it's actually 9.35. Daylight saving in Tassie since we've been here. We could probably stay here a few days. There's the boat cruise that whizzes around the island. 
it does a very spectacular trip around the east coast. There's a wild native hen. I saw one with a dozen chicks up near the loos. I could use up a lot of film here Photographing a little family of wrens. Probably is. They don't stay still long enough to even to focus them. I'm just sitting here and there's this fellow sitting up above my, my little table there. I'm just Gang next to me, some sort of pardalote. We're looking for a 40 spotted pardalote. That's right on the tip of the North Island. And the large pelvis. That's the facet, the facet yeah, joint. The facet. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that articulate against the other bits. Yeah. There's your shoulder blade mm. next to the laundry. I'm just going over the phone home, see how Jillian and Sam and Jack and Jill are. And Lucy, of course, and Andy. The lighthouse keeper was called Andy. was around there. We'll do that walk tomorrow, Grassy Point. And little did Cook know that up there was going to be Hobart Town and uh, the mountain with a TV aerial, Mount Wellington. There's a kitchen. Here's a kitchen for the use of these little cabins here. Which probably just sleep too, I'd say. And that's looking back towards our tent back there. And it's going to rain any moment. It's actually going to be a lovely sun shower. There's a wild hen with one chick. Maine. 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 They've got a mane. 
Yeah. With ducks. The native hen doesn't let us get too close. That's the shower block. I think we'll go and have a little drive. Just feeding the young ones that were there. There's a dog. There's another. And we've got four little ones. Go north now. Go north across the, the beach there and the 200 steps. Just a quick look at Penguin Island, Grassy Point, and the fluted cliffs around that headland. And our camp spots just around there. Island there is Betsy Island. Iron Pot's got a, a oh, light on it. it. Mm, that's the bottom of the I think I think you could call this place Water View. There's Tin Pot again, the sun was on half a minute ago. That boat just left around here. Cape Direction. There's the southernmost, Cape Deliverance. There's a Cape Deliverance. There's that bit sticking out to the left. We, we went up and that channel in the Peppermint um, Bay. Bay boat. That's where we had lunch up Apollo Bay. Bay. That, that's the way up the over. Going around to the right, it's to the east. Is it right out to Port Arthur? And over there is Cape Rowell. Cape Rowell and Remarkable Cave. That's Cape Rowell. sprinkling a little bit and the sun's coming and going and it's a beautiful coastal drive 
all the sheep have just bamboosed from this paddock. They've even got little boat sheds here. That's right. Yep. This is Kelly's Point, just around to our right a bit. This is there, the information sign about Captain Kelly. There's Captain Kelly there. And he sailed around his open boat, found the human pine, and also named the Gordon River after the um, whale boat owner. And he had a little house here. Looking up. And Cuspets and sailed and boated around here. Lots of old pine trees and the usual little North Bruny Island weekenders and lots of real estate signs and a few new places and the Great Australian Ugliness icon and sailed down this point in the Pitmont Bay ferry and looked at the sea eagles etc along that coastline there up the channel a, week, a couple of weeks ago now that's Kelly's Point very flat and desolate spot and Captain Kelly had his house Elizabeth somewhere up here past these quaint little boat sheds Let's take our photo before the sheep disappear. There are the salmon farms over there with the peppermint bay ferry looking at them, which we did a couple of weeks ago. The sun's come out again, the sun comes and goes. There's a very old little farm down there. Just driving yeah. down the west coast, Kalora, we pass by, we're going down to Barnes. Mm, is that Kettering down there? That's looking across to Kettering where the ferry comes from, sails out to Bruni Island. Everything's green and lush. Oh, that red land over the... At the top at Maruma, they had a nifty little buzzing thing. I don't know exactly what it was, but it, yeah, it did the job. No, look at what that's done. <laughs> Not that. Uh, that's a nursery. Oh, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, that's a nursery. We actually, you know, we were at Horrocks Beach. Oh, okay. Well, the wind's blowing in. We've got our oysters, and we'll go back for a beer and an oyster, or we might even dine out from the winds blowing strongly on our tent, we think. And the sun's come out too. How about that? I was blowing up a bit of a gale, came back and the main tent pole had bent in half. So we had to improvise with a couple of other poles and then put a few extra guy ropes out to the table and a tree stump. We might be right for the night and it's a lovely sunny evening. Just windy. Well it's blowing a gale again this morning so we'll give our walk a miss. We'll have a little sleep in eight o'clock like this fellow having a snooze in the sunshine and we'll head off across the ferry again and we've gone for our walk around to another whaling station where they'd catch 
40 odd whales in a season. And there's a few whaling stations, as we said. And it's a strong westerly wind when we're walking around the grass point. We must be halfway there. There's their water supply. And there's a few wells around here too.